You're watching Cricket World TV. Australia have completed a winning summer. They've beaten Sri Lanka by 16 runs in the final of the Commonwealth Bank series. They defended 231 all out by dismissing Sri Lanka for 215. Clint McKay, the hero, he took five for 28. Australia made a good start with the bat. Matthew Wade and David Warner putting on 75 for the opening wicket before they lost their way somewhat. Three wickets apiece for Farvis Maharuf and Rangana Herath instigated a collapse. They were reliant on Mackay's 28 and Brett Lee's 32 to haul them up to a score of 231, which just about proved to be enough. Sri Lanka, of course, in the final, primarily because of their top order batting, but today, when it mattered most, they couldn't reproduce that form. They were quickly in trouble at 53 for four, a couple of wickets apiece for Lee and Mackay. They rebuilt through Laharu Tiramani, who made 30, and Upal Taranga made a very fluent 71, but they were always up against it. Taranga's wicket was the key one when he fell, dismissed by Shane Watson. We always thought that that was pretty much it. Australia would uh, canter to victory. In the end, they did. Mackay finished things off emphatically with figures of 5 for 28 by completely clean bowling Rangana Herath and Lassie Malinga. Australia then have completed a fine summer just uh, beating India very easily in the test series and winning games without the likes of Michael Clark, Ricky Ponting and Mitchell Johnson. That's encouraging for them as they head to the West Indies. Sri Lanka, however, they lost the final but to much encouragement in the emergence of Lahiru Tiramani and Dinesh Chandamal in particular during the series. They now host England in a test series with plenty to be proud about.